Understanding, forced departure, an English phrase explained. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, forced departure. This term is used in various contexts and understanding its meaning and usage is crucial for English language learners. So, let's dive into it and make your English learning journey a bit easier and more interesting. Forced departure refers to the act of making someone leave a place or position, often against their will. This phrase can be used in different situations, such as immigration, employment, or even personal relationships. The key element here is the lack of choice or voluntary action by the person leaving. It's important to understand that this term often carries a negative connotation, suggesting an unwelcome or unfair situation. 1. Immigration. In immigration, a forced departure might occur when an individual is deported from a country due to legal reasons, such as visa expiration or violation of immigration laws. 2. Employment. In a workplace, it could refer to a situation where an employee is made to resign or is fired, sometimes referred to as being let go or dismissed. 3. Personal relationships. In personal contexts, it could describe situations where someone is compelled to leave a living arrangement or end a relationship. These examples show how versatile the phrase is and how its meaning slightly changes depending on the context. Understanding synonyms can enhance your vocabulary. Some synonyms for forced departure include deportation, specifically used in immigration contexts, eviction, often used in legal or housing situations, expulsion, common in educational or organizational settings, dismissal, generally used in employment or formal organizational contexts. These terms share the common theme of an involuntary or compelled exit from a situation or place. I hope this explanation of the phrase, forced departure, has been enlightening and helpful for your English language learning journey. Remember, understanding the context of phrases is as important as knowing their definitions. Keep practicing, and you'll master these nuances in no time. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.